Hello everybody, welcome to part number 17 of Bioshock Infinite, where we enter the battle of Wounded Me, display case, and which is another segment where I will be getting shot up, which in my opinion is not fun, but maybe it's entertaining to watch me get messed up and get sucker punched from behind, like I will a few hundred times later on. Anyway, I think you may notice that I'm using a different microphone this time. Trying to see how this one works. It's better for the uh, background noise. I just got a nitro vest. Also, nitro vest. How come I can't find a nitro vest somewhere? Hopefully, you can hear me alright. I may have to raise the volume of the commentary. My goodness. This is a very lively display, that's for sure. With you and cry, with hatchet red, they danced amongst our noble dead. You, and there's more and more of these there. motorized patriots, which is foreshadowing that we're gonna fight them. Your slate being mean again. Sending in 50 freaking guys, always. But we can handle them. As you see, that was kind of brutal. Just for a sip of some shock jockey, we have to go through all this trouble. Get shot, sucker punched, smacked, hit, used, invaders used against us. This is ridiculous, man. As you can see, I did much better on the Boxer Rebellion display. These guys lit me up. I think there was a Murder of Crows guy. I have no idea what I just did to that guy. That was kind of close. I know some special boss comes out to me, sub boss type enemy. I just don't know where he is. There's a lot of screaming involved, that's for sure. Yep, it's mostly melee guys. He kept sucker punching me. It does a lot of damage, like in Bioshock 2, when the splices would hit you with crowbars, and a quarter of your health would go down. But here's the Murder Crows guys, which is the Bucky Bronco. It's like the most decent thing to use. Because it just stops and it strikes and you can just blast them whenever you want. So it works. But this time it was not working, I don't know why. And I shot the RPG in my face. So it was a double whammer. It did nothing to him, but harmed me in the process. That was not a win win. And the fucking Bronco was not working at all. And I used my little crows on him like a dummy, because why would I use that? against him when he was using the murder of to protect himself so that was kind of a dumb move by me I should have did that I should have stuck to the plan and used devil spit on him this is what devil spit devil's kiss on him this is what I used early when I first encountered so I was not thinking at this moment I just wanted to blast them I just wanted to get through this because I, I just wanted to get to sleep I was getting sick of Slate. I don't get this. I get killed. I was getting sick of Slate in his scheme of sending out guys. So that's what I was doing. And I still didn't get him, but I think I'm gonna get him now. He keeps teleporting and crows, and this should do it. Any minute. There we go. I think I do execution on him. Let's see. Yep, get him. You did them a favor, Booker. You let them die like men. I didn't ask for this. I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. Then what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the Rotunda. It's almost over. 
Slate was being indirect with us again. See, Slate was just... Slate... He was giving Booker a hard time. Let's just say that. Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. Better than Yeah. What if you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose? I've got what you need, Booker. You will find me past the First Lady's memorial. If I was Booker in this situation, I'd just be finished. Not only do I have to fight all these men, but I gotta argue with this guy to get what I need. This is too much. And he sent out more dudes that he didn't even warn us about. So, this is how it's been going with this guy. And, um, part 18 might be uploaded tomorrow. So, this part, I don't know when, no. Probably someday, like midday, or something like that. Um, here he goes. And he's giving a little foreshadowing right there. I know I don't want to spoil the story, but that is a significant quote that he just said. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. So yeah. The child took ill, and our lady prayed for the prophet's heir day and night. This is nothing but foreshadowing. While Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. She does a lot of talking in this level, so I can't really talk. That's cool. And drown in flame the mountains of man. Your Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. Cool. Fancy putting those lockpicking skills to work? Close. But yeah. Those are the biggest locks I've ever seen. But yeah, like I mentioned, there's a lot of ambient talking going on in this level, and I can't really get a chance to say anything, so if I'm kind of quiet, please excuse that. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be quiet. I just have to. But, um, yeah, that's basically all that's going on. Dealing with Slate, Slate's conflicts in this level. Uh, yeah. Here's another thing. Box of phone time. Those who loved me. And fake fire right I was there. the most generous of souls. There was no pain I would deny them. No betrayal I would not gladly give and when i had scorched the hearts of all who loved me the prophet said there is nothing you can do for which i will not forgive you for god has granted me sight and through his eyes even you are loved oh i thought this is real lava i get kind of scared but i should have known that this is all this display props so Nothing to really worry about. And this is another display of Elizabeth's tears. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. First time interactive tears. See if there's some way to move forward. Look. Is that? It's a tear. Something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Cool. So that's what's going on. So now we get the interactive tear ability. That came from. Whenever I get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Yep, more of Slate's men, but we get these the option of tears now. This is like the first, you know, the first scene where you can use these tears with Elizabeth. 
And for some reason, the bazooka guys take millions of shots. I don't know how. They're just really buff and tough.